day 955 off the grid and what a shitty day it is today wouldn't be showing how the sun's falling on the panels today we're stuck in this really crappy weather system now it's been like this over a week now so I guess we were going to get something like this at some stage during the winter anyway this gas bottle is probably the last time this is going to be here today because I'm going to take this one and swap it for a new one. I normally just get them refilled because swapping it's usually a rip off but when the bottles get old or be on their test date you're just going to swap them for a refurbished one. This bottle here is one of the original two we got when we first put in the Califont back in 2011. Here's the test date here, the 9th or the 11th or maybe we did it in 2012 somewhere around there so we had this bottle for five odd years and it's still good for you know about another three years before it's due to be tested again or replaced but it's not going to make it because crappy bottle crappy finish look at this rust yeah the guys at um, mobile will still fill it but starting to get to the point where I'm getting a bit fussy about it so I'm gonna hope that I can get it swapped the guys that swap the bottles might reject it because it's kind of rusty but hopefully I can get it swapped before it gets to that point so this is its final hurrah here on the property it'll be gone we bought this bottle new so yeah wouldn't buy a bottle from the warehouse again for outdoor purposes. The finish is just not that great. I mean, these things should be able to last through to their test date without sort of becoming decommissioned due to rust. Although I've seen much, much rustier bottles around here, especially around Foxton Beach because of the salt spray, but this has never been out at the beach. But Shannon being so wet has its own unique form of pervasive rust. So there we go.